Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! On this month's Love Tennis Strategies, I'm going to be telling you my strategy when I'm playing Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. For this game, the first thing that you need to do is find out who's playing the game and where they're sitting, and then find the two greatest players outside of yourself and sit between them. This will give you a huge advantage because the point of this game is to build two castles, one with each of your neighbors, and then you'll take the lowest scoring castle of those two. So another thing that I focus on in this game is trying to get as many of the bonuses as possible. So I usually try to get what would it, maybe three different room types that I'm going to try to get at least three of each and then get those uh, bonuses. And also I would definitely focus on getting some of the sleeping rooms and then make sure you get one of each color uh, so that each one of those is worth four points. I'll see you next month when I have another Left Handed Strategies. Today on Mac Attacks, I've got Cartographers, one of my favorite games ever. Um, but unfortunately, I find the box art to be bad. <laughs> I just don't like it very much at all. Um, I don't know, maybe there's something in the rules that I don't understand, but you got like this elfish looking man with some glasses kind of overlooking a valley. Um, in front of him he's got a quill with grid lines kind of mapping out what he sees in front of him. And then on his side is a little imp um, looking creature that looks to be helping him. There is there are no people in this game, um, there are monsters, but otherwise in this game you are mm, building either kind of like, I think they're like structurally themed um, pieces, and so this front guy really does not have, doesn't really lead into what this is, um, other than your map building using different cards. Um, I do think that it does cover some of the things, though not in color form. There's um, some brown pieces, there's mountains, um, they do have some lakes, and so the colors in cartographers, uh, I suppose they're not colors, they're colors to us because we use colored pencils, but um, only then is there some kind of resemblance to what you're actually doing in the game. So. Um, great game, kind of a letdown on box art. I think it's pretty for what it is, but I don't think it gives you a good um, feel for what the game actually is. That's Mac Attacks. In this segment, I'm going to be talking about some of the board games that I've been playing so far in March. One of those games is Cribbage, and I've actually gotten back into this one on Board Game Arena. Another one of these games is Silver and Gold, which I played once earlier this year and have gotten a chance to play it a few more times, and I've really enjoyed all my plays with it. It's probably one of my favorite roll or flip and write games. One that I had not played in a while for a while was Brass Birmingham, but I actually was able to get this one to the table and play it with my wife for her first time playing it. And I enjoyed it just as much as I had the past few plays. Then we also have gotten Everdale to the table. And this one is one of the games on our 10x10 challenge list. So we're hoping to get this one played a lot more. Uh, before this year, I think we only played it one or two times. So we're getting this one to the table a lot more as well. And last but certainly not least, the biggest game out of the ones we've played um, is Dwellings of e Eldervale. Uh, and <laughs> saying it right after Everdale makes it a little harder to say that even, <laughs> even more than normal. But this game I have just really, really had a great time with and I'm really glad that we've gotten to play it so many times and I'm hoping we get to play it some more. 
Thanks for watching. See you next month. Hey guys, for this month's top five, I'm going to be doing my top five classic novels. Um, so for number five, I've got Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. It's a great story that follows four sisters and the different paths they end up taking in life. So, really good. Number four, I have Ian Forster's A Room with a View. It's a coming-of-age story for a female who goes to Florence, Italy, and um, kind of her life when she gets back. A short read, um, an easy read, but some thought-provoking statements, ideas in there. Number three is Daniel Key's Flowers for Alderaan. Um, it's a great novel. It follows this man who has some um, mental disparities and he goes through this experiment and he becomes just beyond smart, um, beyond smarter than anyone who had done the experiment or who could help him and you follow him through um, a style of journal writing and then you also follow him, um, I don't want to spoil it for you, but you follow him in that journey. So. Number two is East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I've only read uh, Of Mice and Men from him before, um, and so when I took this on, I was just kind of wary about it, but I loved this book. So good, so thought-provoking. It follows the story of two brothers, and then from there, one of the brothers and his twin sons. Um, kind of a play on, like, Cain and Abel from the Bible, and just has a lot of thought-provoking sentiments about life and family, um, and kind of like a good and a bad um, side of things. So. A really great novel. And last but not least I have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, I'm a huge Austen fan. She's what got me into classics um, and then beyond everything from there. Um, I think this book gets mistaken to be just like a romance novel but Jane has a lot of um, ironic and very poignant thoughts on society at that time and she shows that through her characters. It's really witty. She was so smart about how she wrote and this book for me is just like an absolute must. Everyone should should read it. So those are my top fives. Are there any that you think I should read that I haven't? I have a long to be read list but I'm always looking for new things. Um, are there any games do you, that kind of align with some of these books or maybe not? Let me know. Welcome to this month's Queso Quizzo. Once again, we have Michaela and Jesse facing off one on one. And this month, the winner will receive the Queso Quizzo crown of cheese. You can keep it. <laughs> and Michaela's just saying that now, but she's, she wants it, I can tell. Look at that look in her, on her face. <laughs> All about the cheese. <laughs> well, to start this month's Queso Quizzo, I pulled up three games on Board Game Geek and took uh, <laughs> the little writing from their definitions um, and wrote them down. And you have to guess the game based on that. For each one you get right, you'll get two points. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, the first one. This game... Collect and trade resources to build up an island in this modern classic. Can you read it again? Collect and trade resources to build up an island in this modern classic. Are these games we've played? Yep. We play and own them. Oh, no. Island. I will say I had to adjust a word, and it was right around there because it had the title of the game in it. Modern classic. I, I'll just. And we'll read these at the end after we've done all three of them. I don't think this is right. I just have to do it. Yeah. I got mine, so Jesse. I've got mine. Yeah, I've got okay. mine. Okay. So the next one, you will. Shape the medieval landscape of France, claiming cities, monasteries, and farms. Should have done the quick bite, Mac. Got a huge advantage. There's no <laughs> way she's getting it. 
She has no chance. Everyone got their answers? Mm -hmm. And the last one. Build your railroad across North America to connect cities and complete tickets. Still trying to figure out that island. <laughs> so maybe this last one. I think I know. <laughs> I, can't, what I can't really get it. If I say too much, then I'll give it away. I think. I think I know what you were but, saying. Yes. But you do realize that it's not technically within the parameters you outlined. That is true. Either All right, way, what yes. we got? So do you want to start with the last one? We'll go. We'll work yeah. our way back since sure. you guys seemed most uncertain about the first one. Okay, so build your railroad across North America to connect cities and complete tickets. What do you got? Ticket to ride, original. I said ticket to ride, original. You are both right. I Two it's points for each. North reach. America. Is it called North America? I think it's just ticket to ride. Okay. So you got that. Then the second one: shape the medieval landscape of France, claiming cities, monasteries, and farms. Do you have any clue what that could be? Hmm, I have no clue. Could it be Carcassonne? Carcassonne! Yes! Another two? Another two for each. And then last but not least, collect and trade resources to build up an island in this modern classic. I just went with Orléans. I went with Catan. Uh, One of you is right. Yeah. Is it me? I had to get rid of... It says, I believe what it says was, collect and trade resources to build up Catan in this modern classic. Catan. But I didn't really know... Because it, it's surrounded by means... water, so I figured it was a fair thing to say an island. Yeah. And the fact that I said modern classic, I was hoping would give it away. It was actually the collect and trade piece, because I was like, hmm, what other games do we trade in with each other? <laughs> No games. There are no games of trading. There are. I just couldn't get there. It's the best one. Okay, so after that, Michaela's got six, and Pepper's got four. It's looking like he, he may be losing this I'm losing, one. I'm losing the cheese. Losing the cheese. Now, this next category, I wrote down some facts about a game that we own, and the quicker you get it, the more points you get. So I have five things on here. If you get in the first one, you'll get five points. Is she wearing a shirt for the game? No. She is not currently <laughs> this wearing... This is an Oktoberfest or something <laughs> shirt. Oh. <laughs> we, we, nope, it, it has nothing to do with beer. So you're, you're covered, Pepper, for right now. But, yeah, so if you get it on the first one, five points. If you get it on the second one, four points. Three, two, and one. Okay. So, the first fact. This game came out... In 2020. Ooh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm terrible with games. Ooh. Like came, like was delivered, was launched on Kickstarter. No, it came out oh, in 2020. Oh, I'm mixing my ears up. That was came out. It was released in 2020. Okay. Oh, that one's right on the edge. To everyone. It was made available for anyone. It wasn't like a Kickstarter. What the heck did we get? I... And we own this? Yep. And, <laughs> yeah, we don't really have any Kickstarter. We only had the one Kickstarter from, that we got in 2020, so. Oh, that's right. Okay. Like, I know which games we have gotten okay. from Kickstarter. Okay. And you can change your answer as you go down. Okay. But, um, the second fact about this game is that it has meeples in it. Like meeple meeples? Or it has meeples in it. That's all I'm giving you. Well, that's a lot of games. And considering I don't know... <laughs> and if I do change oh. it, my first one would still count? If that were right? Uh, once you switch off of your guess, oh. then it no longer counts. Oh. I don't think it was that way last time. It was not. Won. It was not, wow. but I can't let you guess five different games. <laughs> we didn't oh, yes. do it this way, though. We did it. Right. It was game. slightly different. Yeah. I'll 
Because I, I, if I think if I if I want to keep it with the first answer, mm -hmm. then I should, and it still applies. Yep. Okay. The next one, it may not help you after that Meeple's one, but it, one of the mechanisms in this game, the major one, is worker placement. But that covers so many things. Ooh. I'm so not Well, bothered. okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with the last two. I think you're both going to get it on the next one, no matter what. So 2020 has Meeple's worker placement. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 you can't go back and change answers from I'm previous. I'm not. I'm oh, okay. That's why I use pen and paper. <laughs> wow, she got her markers over there changing. You will be able to see that I did not erase. Well, what I should have had you do, since you have all those different color markers in front of you, I should have had you do a I different color each one. I'm going to show up as well. Okay, but... <laughs> you got a guess? Okay. This game has timers in it. Ah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I switched my dude, but five second rule. And the last hint, if you guys have guessed, it's published by Stonemaier Games. <laughs> Did that give it away? I want to hear your answers from the top. Let's see what you had at five. My first answer was Clank Legacy. Mine was by Council of the West Kingdom. Yep. Was that published in 2020? I think so. Hey! Right? I just yeah. picked one of our yeah. newest games and prayed. <laughs> <laughs> I kept by Council for my second one. And the second one I went to Dwellings of Eldervale, even though I don't think that was completely available. Had meeples. Mm -hmm. Then what did you go to after that? Pendulum. You and went to you got pendulum after the I, worker placement. And I went to Viscounts, even though I don't. Oh, think it's quite worker placement. <laughs> when you said it was major, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's not major unless you count the Viscount himself. Right. Yeah. And then pendulum. Okay, so the points for that will go three to Michaela and two to Jesse. Which puts us at your lows. <laughs> I got Two nine. Back. Gail's got nine, and Pepper's got seven. Can he make it up in the last round? For this last round, I'm going to have some questions from the game Orleans. Oh, ah. oh boy! And the first question I'm going to ask leading. is worth two points, and whoever's closer will get this. And the question is, what year was Orleans published? <laughs> <laughs> Michaela's pretty good at this round. <laughs> this is her favorite. When we start talking about I'm, years published I'm and board game geek. I'm scared now. I have no... <laughs> I've got no feeler. 1985! <laughs> <laughs> She's like... It's well, not, I'll tell you, Catan was 95, and it is not... That is, it is the not only older. game I'm sure of. <laughs> it is not older than Catan, I'll tell you that. So it's sometime between 95 and 2021. Oh, snap. Uh, you're peeking? Wow. I have my is she written. racing now? No, I have my written. <laughs> okay. Okay, what do we got for answers? We'll go with Pepper, the man uh, behind. 2012. Ooh. 2017. Oh boy, that is close. Because it's 2014, so uh, Pepper gets it by one year. I wrote 2015 oh. at first, and then I oh. got scared. How many points is that? Five? That was worth two points, I said. Ooh. So he ties yeah. it up. It's a tie game. Now our next question, which probably benefits Pepper again. But it is, what rank is Orleans on Board Game Geek? Uh, I will give you a hint. It is in the top 100 games. Oh. That's not fair. <laughs> he didn't watch the thing with Tom Vassell, did he? What thing? Where they ranked all the games or whatever they talked about every game on Board Game Geek. 
I don't think he tacos every game. Oh. <laughs> that would have taken a very long time, but I can't remember if he ever talked about the top 100 people. I'm sure he did. I don't know this spell. I don't know. Okay. Whoever's closer will get two points. We'll let Michaela lead this one off. I said 62. Okay, we got 62. 23. Okay. Someone is off by two. Me. And it is not Michaela. Uh, it is ranked 25. Boom! The last I looked. <laughs> Takes the lead. Takes the lead by two points. Okay. But there's one final question that can save anyone. Is it worth four points? Well, no. Well, in total, it's worth seven points. Oh, okay. But it is, what types of chips can you get? What are the names of the types of chips you can get in Orleans? And that's okay. the final question. They're each worth oh. one point. Oh, like the goods? No, no, no. The workers that you get or the people. Um. I need I need actual names of them. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Is it going to be like Puzzle Mania where we just keep going? Nope, you're just going to write them down and you'll there's, get whatever you get. There's seven? There's seven of them, so you get seven answers. No penalty for wrong answer. But Michaela needs to beat Pepper by two to at least tie it up. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to come up with a tiebreaker question on the fly. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I should write this down beforehand. <laughs> I think you, if you can remember some, I'm thinking you're gonna have a bigger advantage than Pepper is. I've I think if you went, the, if you went to colors, only, I think you would give him more of an advantage. I've only played this twice, and I expect you to know because uh, we always call things by their colors <laughs> instead of their name. <laughs> give me some of those red cubes. <laughs> give me a blue chip. Do they have the names on there? I had to go look these up, because I did not know them either. Wow. I think I could have gotten maybe three. Three or four. I, know this. I mean, no, some are I, simple enough if you think about them. It's my favorite one. I can't think of the name. I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of think of Can where, I write down where eight you're... and just see if they... Nope, you have to choose seven. You have to choose seven. Right. Otherwise, we could be here all night. All right. Okay. I'm certain of one, two. Maybe. Oh boy. <laughs> For some reason, I always think that like these these types of things should benefit you, and in these quizzes, they just not I have not. <laughs> they just have not. <laughs> I'm a details person, but if they aren't details written on like anything, then no. Like you said, you had to go look them up. So. Right, but I think if you looked. At the chips themselves enough, you would probably have a good guess. So, how should we do this? I will have you go back and forth reading off your list, and I'll tell you if it's right or not. Okay. So, we'll start with Michaela again, since she's slightly behind. Farmer. Yes. I'm up. Yep. Monk. Yes. Professor. No, that's not right. I almost wrote, wrote that down. Knight. Yes. Merchant. That is what I thought it was myself, but it is not called that. I actually have that written down, and I had to cross it off because it was not right. <laughs> Okay. That is right. Wow. I'm surprising myself. Craftsman? Yes. I wrote down architect. Nope. Fisherman. That's not quite what they're called. Come on, is it close? Indeed. Similar. Did sailor. That is not quite right either. I'm just going for the exact names because otherwise. You it's too wishy-washy if you allow all of them. But no, it is not Sailor. That's all I got. Since you both tried to guess that already. Unless you have another one that you're trying to guess the Sailor. Uh, no, I have. Uh, that's all you have. It's actually called Boatsman. Boatsman. Let's 
stupid. That's one of them that I knew. <laughs> um, then I had blacksmith and trader. Blacksmith is not right, but trader is. Oh, come on. Let's I throw a random merchant word Merchant is up. another word for trader. I actually had merchant on the list. <laughs> And then found out it was called Trader, and I had to cross off Merchant to put Trader last. Garbage. That was the last thing I had to do. So, after that... I was just like, Carcassonne, Traders, and Builders, let's throw down Trader. So he got lucky, is what he's saying. Well, after that, it looks like Pepper got four out of seven there. I Should I name that. all of them? Or the Elms expert. What's the Where great one? Scholars. Oh. Scholars. So you were close. You were close on a lot of yours. You just were slightly off. Surprised you didn't remember the monks. Did I, you go to the I monastery? did get monk. Oh, did you? I just marked it off when Jesse uh, said it. Wow. Well, then how am I supposed to know which ones you have? Oh, I had farmer, monk, knight, and craftsman. I had all of them. I well, well, that changes <laughs> what you're supposed to say all seven of yours. You weren't <laughs> supposed to say one that... Well, he said it. Okay, yeah. so how many did you get right? Four. Well, she's always creating controversy. I'm like, how did she... I'm surprised she didn't remember some of these because... Yeah. I feel like she would remember. Sorry, I just wrote them. I just checked them when Jesse said them, mm -hmm. and you said they were correct. That's okay. So, okay, I just want to make sure both of you then got four. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, the f seven were farmer, knight, monk, craftsman, scholars, boatsman, and trader. So, it looks like Jesse pulled off the win by two points. I love you, Orleans. Wow. <laughs> We might have to have a My match of the number one own. game in the history. <laughs> Put your cheese Of the on. queso. Quizzo. No, that's not mine. Cro I'm not proud <laughs> of that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and he is the cheese pin. We'll see you next month.